Hi friends, Sandra from ForYourTea.com, and we're here to celebrate <laughs> this week's reading, which is fabulous, August 16th through the 22nd of 2021. Thanks for being here. This is a fantastic week. I haven't seen such a great week in such a long time. I can't even remember when. Let's get right into it. The universe card for Monday, Tuesday. The universe is the traditional tarot card, the world, in the traditional tarot, the Rider Wade deck. It says that you simply need to open your arms and give gratitude for all of the goodies that the universe has to deliver to you at this time. Now, why are we here? I, as a Scorpio, and with so much Scorpio in my chart, as you guys know, I talk about it all the time. I'm, always, I'm constantly asking myself why until I get to the bottom of it. Why, why, why? I'm like that three-year-old that bugs their mother. Why? Why? Why, Mom? Why are we here? Because you finally set down boundaries or you're about to lay down some boundaries that says, you know what? I'm tired of people taking, taking, taking. The answer is no. So, you lay down the law, you lay down your, draw the line in the sand, and you're getting a reward for it. The universe is showing up for you on your behalf because of it. Now, the rest of the week, it just gets better. I love this card. Midweek, Wednesday, Thursday, passion ignited. Someone or something is about to light your fire, my friend. This could be a relationship. This could be a project that you're working on. This could be something cool that falls into your lap, some sort of opportunity or something cool at work that you're doing. What is the advice card from the goddess deck Nematoma, which talks about sacred spaces and constructing an altar if you're into that? But regardless, it's meditating in a certain place that makes you feel good. Now, many of you are following this path as we have taken classes together. Maybe you've taken my class, my tarot class that I taught last year, or maybe you're my client. So you've heard me say things like this before, and you're at a certain level of your own spiritual development yourself, and you're ready to take it to the next level, I feel like, for most of you. This week is sort of like that. You are leveling up wherever you're at, wherever you're currently at, wherever you've been in the past. You are leveling up this week for the future and what it is going to present to you. Speaking of present, new beginnings for this weekend, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. This is you journeying out, taking a leap of faith, starting something brand new that you've never done before, and it's very exciting. Now, for many of you, we have children that showed up here. Now, this could be a twofold message for some of you. In other words, this could be two separate things. You have an opportunity here that's separate from a child. For others of you, this could be one message. This opportunity could have to deal with a child. Um, you could be teaching, guiding children, I know. I received a strong message last night before I went to bed of a child, a message that I needed to tell a child, uh, not one of my own children, but a child that I know. So you also may be getting downloaded psychic messages to deliver to a child that you know, someone, you know, a friend's child or a niece or nephew or a, chi a cousin's child, your cousin, someone in your family. Uh, may need to hear a message that, you know, to help them, like they're struggling with a certain subject, could be health, could be uh, school, could be friends, and you have a message to deliver to them in order to stop the struggle and get them the answers that they need, it, that they need at this time to get to their next level. Some of you also may be leveling up in your psychic arena. You could be getting different, um, a higher level of vibrational messages from your guides and your angels that you've never seen or heard before, or they appear in a different way as a result of this meditation that you're doing. 
Some of you may be doing uh, certain meditations or megahertz frequency music meditations on YouTube. Also, I'm getting that very strongly for some of you. But regardless of what it is specifically for you, this is a fantastic week. So I'm celebrating with you. Congratulations. Let's just take a breather and enjoy this week and especially the weekend and the kids for those of you that have kids. Many blessings.